Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel Tech15. Today I'm going to be showing you a, a very useful organization tool for websites, videos, pretty much anything you'd like to put in there, and it's called Wakelet. If you go to the upper left hand corner you're going to see wakelet.com and my students use this for digital curation. It's a great place to store websites, videos, documents, you can do anything you'd like with it. And it's a great place to store, house. If you're a librarian, it's a great place to put together resources for classes and information. If you're a student, it's a great place to put together lists of information and resources for classes. There's lots of different things you can use with this. Very useful, very helpful, and incredibly user-friendly. So let me show you what this looks like. So if you go to the upper right hand corner where it says sign up, sign up if you don't have an account, log in if you do. You have a couple of different options. You can just do with email, password. You can also sign up with Google, Facebook, Apple. They give a lot of options. So once you get in here, when you first set up your account, it's going to ask you some different questions about who you are, are you a librarian, are you in education, your birthday, various and sundry things, things that you can, let's be honest, tell the truth about or not, but you know, every site has a little bit of data gathering as we well know if we use different tools and sites, especially those that are free. And you have the option of creating new collections. You can create as many collections, name them if you wish. I've actually already gotten one started, uh, did a piece on great websites for librarians. So let's go ahead and go in there. In here, you have the option to add to your list a wide variety of things. If you would like, I'm gonna edit my collection because I haven't done a whole lot to it yet. I just kind of left it blank so I could show you a few things. You can add cover images. You can upload an image or choose one from a library. My students really like to do this, so maybe I might like to have one that's a computer. Oh, I'm going to choose this one with Cookie the, Cookie the Dog there. You can also do full cover images. You can also do background images. Uh, you can do a whole lot of different stuff. So I'm going to put him up there just because he's super cute. You can edit. I've got great websites for librarians. Um, this, uh, you can also put in information. I've got visit my list for great digital tools for librarians. You can change this, edit this. It can be much longer. Um, in my class, my students have to have an introduction for their digital curation, so they give uh, more research uh, information about what it is they are sharing with me. So I've titled the first part, maybe digital curation tools. Maybe I'd also have presentation tools, whatever, you know, useful research sites, databases, whatever the case may be. This could be a short list. This could be a long list. This is what you would call just a scrolling drop down list. You can also change the layout from um, a compact view. You can do a grid view um, and then you can do a mood board for those of you who like the more classical mood board looking style. So you can play around with any of those. So I have a web reel, which is one tool that's in here. I'm going to go up here. I have a few chosen for digital curation tools. I'm going to choose live binders for another one. And it's really easy to add. You just click on the plus button for adding. You can paste in a URL. You can add in text, which is what I did right here. You can add in YouTube. When you add in a YouTube, you can do URL or you can actually search YouTube in Wakelet. You can add in tweets. Uh, bookmarks, uh, various and sundry links, wherever you'd like to add those in. Images, you can upload a PDF, which is really nice. You can upload from your Google Drive if you have documents, your OneDrive, or you can add in videos. I'm just going to paste the URL, keep this simple. Going to add that in, give it just a moment, and you're done. I also added in Pearl Trees. You're getting a couple of different sites for uh, three for one here as I'm showing you Wakelet. So this is a very easy way to add in a lot of tools, sites. If you were doing a research project with a fellow educator and wanted to direct students to a certain group of sites, great place to go, great thing to use. You can also easily reorder. Um, over here on the upper right hand side, right now my list is private. You can make it unlisted or you can make it public. For those of you who post videos in YouTube, this is very similar to that concept as well. It's up to you how you would like this to look. When you are done, you click done and then you can see what your site looks like. If you don't like it, you just go right back over there and you can uh, edit, I'm sorry, here in the center, you can edit your collection. You can invite people to view it and you have a few other options. 
You can copy your collection, you can move it, you can change your visibility, you can delete it, and you also can make it public, unlisted to share, things along those lines. So this is truly just a quick introduction to Wakelet. You can do many different things with it. You can have a lot of fun, save a lot of information. You can make it look a lot prettier than what I have. This is pretty, pretty minimalist what I have right here at the moment. But you can have a lot of fun, a lot of use out of Wakelet. Wakelet is very popular. You will see lots of Wakelet lists. Um, on Twitter, uh, many of the socials. Lots of folks like to share Wakelet lists during presentations uh, just because it's so easy to just drag and drop resources as people are talking about them during webinars and presentations online. Incredibly useful right now as we're in the middle of a pandemic with so much online instruction and teaching. So this is just an incredibly useful tool. Hope you find this video useful. Give Wakelet a try. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe and I will have more videos for you soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day.